Hey guys, today we're gonna be looking at the Shark Apex. We're gonna go through unboxing it, putting it together, and then doing some tests. All right guys, so let's get into it. Alright guys, so we're going to start by opening the box. Alright guys, so let's open it up and look at it. So here you're greeted with a customer service number. And here we got documentation, quick start guide, the manual itself, instructions, a bag, pretty large one. Put your accessories in there, I guess. So the first thing that comes out is the head. So we're just going to set it down. We have the shark accessory box, the handle with the hose, the pet brush, the hard hose, and last but not least guys, the actual vacuum part, the canister. All right guys, so here we have all our pieces. So let's take a little quick look at what's inside the accessory box here. So we have like a, a brush. So here we have a pretty interesting one. It's called a dust brush actually. And also we have this typical crevice brush for getting into small areas. So that is what's inside the accessory bag. So let's go ahead and open this canister here. Check it out guys, this thing is beautiful. I've always liked the way the Shark Apex looks. The reason why is because the canister here is darkened. So there's a bunch of little stickers all over it that you'll have to take off. There's one there, one here, and then there's one here also. So here we have the hose attachment. Feels good in the hand. So we have the power button up here. And then we have the selector here where you can select the different uh, floor types. So we got hardwood floors, carpets, low pile, and carpet, thick carpet. Uh, we also have a LED here up front, which is really cool. This is very useful, by the way. So on this other end, we just have a connection here, which will connect right here. And it's as simple as just clicking it together. All right, guys, so here we have the hard pipe with the release button here which it clicks in by the way, just like that. All right, put that to the side for a second. All right, so the best for last <laughs> is the head. So this is what makes the Shark Apex and just the Shark Duo Clean in general a special vacuum because of this head. Let's go ahead and open it. Shark does a very good job in packing this head. As you can see guys, it's definitely packed really nice and with care. There's even little foam pads keep it safe. The Shark Vacuum is definitely a nice looking machine. There's the bottom. So here we have the front brush roll. That is the Duo Clean. Then we have our normal hard bristle brush back here. So on the front here you have two release buttons here that you push together and the hood or the front fascia here comes up and you can take that off to clean it and this is how you would clean your brush roll in here. Um, unfortunately this one does not come out like the duo speed. You know if, you do, if you're not going to get much hair around this then you know you might not have to clean it that much at all. So here on the front we have the duo brush and you just pull on this little tab here 
and that just pops off and this thing is pretty heavy it's pretty meaty and that's basically your whole front brush there you do have an indicator light here that glows when you do have the brush powered on let's put the vacuum together so here we have the head the hard pipe just clicks in like that and then the canister and obviously this goes way up here you guys can't see it but just like that so and this cord guys is actually pretty long also I can't remember how long it was but I think it's 30 feet something like that so it's pretty good so the cord just winds like this and it's got a pretty long stroke so it's not going to take you forever to wind it up and there's a little plastic cover for the plug here that you will have to take out all right guys so let's take a look at the uh, lift away part here so how lift away works is there's a big button right here that you push just like that and the whole thing lifts away obviously if your cord is not connected so this is how the lift away actually comes out and then you know you would the vacuum just like this while carrying this in, in, your, in your hand so if you wanted to get underneath the couches and whatnot else this is how you would do that all right guys so normally what we do is we like to put our tool and these not just kind of go in there it keeps the tool from spinning around it kind of just keeps it still which is kind of nice now on this side actually the motorized pet tool goes in there which is this guy right here and this is definitely a really nice little addition from shark it's self-powered so it has a motor inside so whenever you activate it it uh you know it spins on its own it's got like a little belt you can see right there i don't know if you guys can see but there's a belt inside and a motor in here use it you just click on this and you know and then you plug it into your uh, to the handle and then when you're done put it back together like this um this actually this part is made just for this tool so you're gonna have your brush i think pointing out this way i'm just gonna clip it in like that and there's a little clip right here where it clips in just like that and then it just holds on so it kind of lives on the vacuum if you want it there of course all right guys so as you can see that didn't take too long to put it together so to open the dust cap all you got to do is push a little button right here so you just push that and it releases the, the the whole dust cut and that's what it looks like it's actually a good size it's not too small and not too big and like i mentioned before i really like the darkened because when there's dirt in there it doesn't look as bad from the outside so you have a little button here to access the top and the bottom obviously you push and uh, it releases where you can empty out the trash all right so over here we have the filters this filter here on the top technically you don't have to clean out that often it depends on how much you vacuum and how much you know dust particles you got so if you have a lot of dust then this might get clogged a little faster so but about every three months or so you know you can take this off like this and rinse it in uh, underwater to uh, clean it out um, and then you can let it dry and just put it back and put it back in there and there is actually another one in there also a smaller one and same thing for this you know just kind of wash it and dry it that's it that's the two filters that are here um, there is one more filter and it's the HEPA filter it's right here in this part and it's a pretty large filter as you can see and it just kind of clicks right out you know if you want to keep this thing optimum what I do is I take it out when I clean these you know every other time or something and I will hit this you know on the ground like this and a lot bunch of uh, you know if you got dust in here the dust will particles will fly out so so anything that this filter misses and then the next one will go to this one and this one will definitely catch it this one doesn't let anything through all right guys so now that we got this whole thing together let's go ahead and power it on and I want you guys to hear how loud it is and I don't know if you can hear me or not or probably the vacuum also you know that's that's about how loud it is you know it's not quiet by any means but not too loud either. So whenever you have it on the floor mode, the brush still spins. But it spins like this is the floor mode. It spins in pulses. 
as you can see, it's faster, slower, faster, slower, faster, slower. And when you go to the carpet mode, it just spins fast. All right, guys, so hopefully you were able to hear that and see the brush rolls. All right, so I want to show you guys the light also here on the handle. On. So this is actually very hand handy to have this light, believe it or not. I think we pretty much covered everything. Let's uh, go ahead and see if we can vacuum something. All right, guys, so here we are on the carpet with the Apex, and I'm going to just throw some cereal out here just so you guys can see how good it picks it up. And also, to make it even harder, we're going to grab some chips and we're going to crumble them. And we're going to make a huge mess over here, guys. And as you can see guys, not a problem at all. So not a big deal you say, right? Any vacuum can pick up crumbs from our carpet, but what about hard floors like this tile? There's not very many vacuums that can do a good job picking up just random stuff off of tile or hardwood floors. So let's go ahead and turn on the shark and see how it does on the hard floor surfaces here. And as you can see guys, not a problem for this shark. And that's what makes the Apex so special, is that it's able to pick up loose debris on hard surfaces. This is what this dual brush here is for. So let's go ahead and do one more thing. Let's empty what we've collected back on the floor here, just like that. And that's a pretty decent pile there. And we'll go over it one more time. Not a problem for this vacuum, guys. As you saw, we just picked up everything we put on here and a couple passes and it's all gone. And that's what the Shark Apex does great with, is that kind of stuff. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have hardwood floors or tile or anything like that, this vacuum is the way to go. Now, if you just have carpet, you might be better off saving some money and going with the rotator. I'll leave some links in the description to this vacuum and the, uh, and the rotator. And I'm actually gonna leave a link to the smaller brother, which is the Duo, which is identical to this. It's just smaller sized, which might be a better option for you too. All right guys, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed and you wanna see more videos on this channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.